Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see about the final exam questions for the NPTEL course research methodology for the session October 2023. The proctored exam for research methodology consisted of two sections, section 1 and section 2. Section 1 had 10 questions, section 2 had 40 questions. Section 1, the 10 questions was asked for 20 marks and 40 questions in section 2 for a total of 80 marks. So total it was 100 marks. So let's get into the questions. First question is, which of the following is a recommended criterion to pick a reference article for inclusion in a publication? The article is authored by likely reviewers. The article is authored by someone well-known in that topic. The article appeared in a well-known journal and the article is a prior work directly relating to the topic. The answer to this question is the article is a prior work directly relating to the topic. Next question is which of the following indexes is considered as a measure of the impact of a particular article in its area of specialization? The number of likes, number of views, number of downloads and the number of articles referring to it. The answer to this is number of articles referring to it. Next question, which of the following bibliographic details is necessary to retrieve all other details of a digitally published article? ISSN, ISBN number, DOI and URL. So the answer to this is DOI, which stands for Digital Object Identifier. Next question is, which of the following statements is true? Procedures and methods for data analysis are identical for deterministic and stochastic processes. All processes are purely stochastic. The outcome of a random process can be sometimes predicted accurately. Processes can have a mix of both deterministic and stochastic effects. The answer to this is processes can have a mix of both deterministic and stochastic effects. So remaining are false. Next question, while doing data analysis, what can be done to ensure accuracy and perfection in the results? The options given were increase the number of decimal values after the decimal point, decrease the number of decimal values after the decimal point, repeat the experiment with other instruments for the experiment. Next question, after completing the research, a PhD scholar tends to know more and more of less and less, less and less of less and less, less and less of more and more and everything. Next question, with reference to gas bottles in the laboratory, the options given were gas bottles must not be kept, gas bottle has to be secured with a chain two-third or above the height of the glass bottle, gas bottle. So the answer to this is gas bottle has to be secured with a chain two-thirds or above the height of the gas bottle. Next question, what are the features of a pure deterministic process? Repeated experiments under controlled and identical conditions produce different series. At any instance of time, there exists only one possible known outcome. It is always periodic. Errors in prediction are usually small. So the answer to this is at any instant of instant in time, there exists only one possible known outcome. So for a determ pure deterministic process, repeated experiments under controlled and identical conditions produce the same series. So first option will also be not a future feature of a pure deterministic process. Next question, identify the correct statements among the following. For a deterministic process, the ensemble and sample averages are identical. A statistic and estimator are both mathematical functions of the estimated data. An estimate can have a large bias but low variability and vice versa. Variability is a measure of how the estimate varies with sample size. So here the correct statement is an estimate can have a large bias but low variability and vice versa. So here in the second option they have given a statistic and estimator are both mathematical functions of the estimated data. Actually statistic and estimator are both mathematical functions of the observed data. So the second option is not correct. Next question, with reference to 
eye safety in the laboratory which is preferred prescription eye glasses each eye glass can be used for all purposes shatter proof safety glasses with the front and the sides covered so the answer to this is shatter proof safety glasses with the front and the sides covered next option is with reference to foot safety in the laboratory which is preferred cloth shoes chapels can be used steel top footwear the answer to this is steel top footwear next question is with reference to the data in the slides for a pre technical presentation some space must be left in each slide no space must be left in the slide slide must be filled with data so the answer to this is some space must be left in each slide next question is the tuskegee study is unethical because of race nationality religion so the answer to this is race so this involved uh, it involved a particular race and uh, so it was considered as unethical next question is whenever there is a research involving patients we have to acquire dash voluntary consent involuntary consent assimilated consent the answer to this is voluntary consent next question is an introduction part of an article talks about what is required to understand your work what is unique about your work so here the answer is what is required to understand your work next question in images high magnification leads to high resolution true or false the answer to this is false next question a reasonable pace for presentation is five slides a minute one slide a minute two slides a minute three slides a minute so the answer is one slide a minute next question in the abstract of the journal you give the most important result right away you hide the most important details so the answer to this is you give the most important result right away next question is which of the following is not a type of intellectual property right patents trademarks torts copyright the answer to this is torts patents trademark and copyright they are all a type of intellectual property rights which of the following statements is true with reference to with respect to industrial designs it protects the ornamental and aesthetic aspect of an article in india the maximum term of protection is 15 years industrial design protects both three dimensional and two dimensional features of a product in india the maximum term of protection is 50 years so the answer to this is the first second and third are true it protects the ornamental and aesthetic aspect of an article the maximum term of protection is 15 years and it protects both the three dimensional and two dimensional features of a product next question in india a computer program or software on its own can be protected by which of the following trademark copyright patents no ip protection is granted so computer program or software is protected by copyrights next question is sheldon has been granted a patent for his gyroscope idea having a patent he is not entitled to which of these rights right of excludability right of commercial exploitation right to file a suit in case of infringement right to all the patents in his area so he is not he is entitled for the right of excludability commercial exploitation right to file a suit in case of infringement he is not entitled to all the patents in his area so the fourth option is the right answer next question fame comes under what type of motivation intrinsic motivation extrinsic motivation fame comes under extrinsic motivation is the right answer next question a researcher while he is conducting his research he has to be responsible to maintain what public trust accuracy or relevance the answer to this is public trust that's all for the questions which were asked in the final exam see you in my next video until then take care bye bye don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and press all to get instant updates